So Dream Hack started today, the first day of three, and we already have so much great news about what's coming in the next update. They just released Leon yesterday, and they've already gone and teased a new character, Glenos the Ascended. All they showed us was a small teaser that revealed most of what he looks like. We get to see part of his weapon, his masked face, and his backside. It also reveals that this guy can fly, or ascend in some way. Like with every character, there's a lot of data mine stuff on him, but I'm not going to go over that. I haven't even looked at the character data mining since Willow. I find it's a lot more exciting to see the character reveal on its own, especially when they come out this fast. It's hard to get hyped for characters that come out this fast. However, some of you may be curious, so I will link the info below. There's also a big list of coming skins in that link. I did take a look at that, I couldn't help it. There's some really exciting skins coming that I cannot wait to see. There was also a small trailer for a new map. The gap between Stone Keep and Bright Marsh was pretty huge. I'm really glad the gap this time around isn't anywhere near as big. This new map is called Split Stone Quarry and it looks absolutely stunning even though it's a run down mining quarry. The atmosphere of it is so different from anything we have in the game and the art for it is absolutely beautiful as well. That lava fall at what looks like the capture point looks amazing and I wouldn't be surprised if it ends up hurting players. It looks like they put a few hazards in this map. There's a set of drills in one of the stone walls on the map too, and I bet it kills you if you get knocked into it. I can totally see Ashes trying to bash people in there and end up running straight into them by accident. Oh man, I can't wait. From what I've heard, this was once the test map Grotto. This test map was out around the time Maeve was released, and I have some old footage of me playing on it, running in the background in case you want to see it. It's not exactly good footage though, sorry, I wasn't all that great back then. Anyway, this is one of my absolute favorite test maps along with Sewer and Dark Crossing. It has so much verticality and plenty of different places to fight in. There are several buildings with balconies and rooftops that flankers can run across and jump from. I don't know how different the map is compared to its testing stage, but if it's even half as fun to play on as Grotto was, then I'm going to be enjoying the hell out of it. At the end of the teaser, we also see Ruckus hop into Bolt, except they both look pretty different, especially Bolt. Now at first, I thought this was just a skin that was coming, but it seemed weird that Ruckus himself doesn't look very different. According to this set of tweets with Hyrus Holt, this is going to be a Ruckus redesign like they did with Cassie a little while back, and it makes sense why they'd want to redesign him. Bolt doesn't really fit the fantasy theme of Paladins very well at all. I think this new Bolt looks much better. It definitely does a much better job at fitting in with the whole fantasy theme. Now, don't worry. Holt said that like with the Cassie redesign, the old Ruckus skins will be available as separate skins, so those that like them can still use them. So if you own Ruckus and its recolors, then you'll have those skins when the redesign comes out. If you don't own them, then they'll cost crystals like Cassie's timber skins ended up costing. If you don't own the Ruckus recolors and you have the gold for them, buy them. Even if you're not going to use them because you never know when they might slap them in a box that you want something out of and you end up getting them anyway when you could have just never had to spend the crystals on rolling them. So that's pretty much it for today. They will be announcing Wizard of the Four Ceres Concepts won the community skin voting poll. From what I've seen, I'd be surprised if it wasn't demonic. It seems like almost everyone who said what they were voting for picked that one. Which one did you guys vote for? I voted for demonic. Hey, hi, Rez. How about you guys give Drogos a demonic skin too? He already has the horns. Imagine a big demonic dragon flying through the skies blowing people up with dark demonic healing energy being pumped into him from his demonic pocket healer down below. You know it's a good idea. Come on. Drogos didn't have a skin on the list. So, you know, I'm, I'm just pushing a little bit. Anyway, that's pretty much it, guys. I will come back with more news tomorrow. So look out for that. But yeah. I want to thank you all for watching. I very much appreciate it. And I'm going to see you guys later. Bye.